deep in suburban Brisbane, camouflaged behind a screen of trees. The Queensland State Archives, a custodian of heritage, a container of the minute details of past lives, a concealer of secrets waiting to be discovered. This archive is not a mausoleum, but a living collection kept and accessed, protected and secured. The purpose of this award-winning building is the suspension of time and preservation of past records that are the foundation of who Queensland is today. There is no dust, no mites, no mould. It's a 24-7 climate controlled environment, keeping the air a cool 20 degrees. shelves were stacked end to end, it would span 70 kilometres. Letters, documents, registers, photographs, maps and films. Over 430 government agencies transfer their files here, where they are inspected for mould, bugs and metal. They are then arranged and described, as archivists say, and housed in a repository. Behind the hard steel clinical exterior of the building, inside every anonymous box and file, is a human story, often heroic, sometimes deadly, usually mundane. But if you take the time, you can uncover the evidence of some of the most dramatic events that have occurred in Brisbane City's history. A colourful watercolour of Mount Cutha. No, it's a chromatic map produced by a policeman as evidence of the scene of the murder of Celia Miller, a dark tale of jealousy, torment and ultimately tragedy. The Camp Mountain Rail Accident occurred on 5th of May, 1947, killing 16 people. Thomas Dunman made this impact statement. I heard a bit of screeching after she got over the top and I said to my mate in the train, this bloody train has bolted. I gathered my child in my lap, pressed my feet against the opposite seat and said to my mate, hope for the best. The Steiger Vortex rainmaking guns were used in Charleville in 1902. However, the experiment failed. The flood of 1893, after three cyclones hit southeast Queensland, leaving behind the highest flood levels ever recorded, and a sense of humour intact. Mail order bribes? Anyone? And does anyone remember the chairlift at the Echo? The archives can give us access to our past, which may better prepare us for the future.